For decades now, we and then our international partners as well have been collecting data specifically on how microgravity and the spaceflight environment affect the human body. If we want to stay there for longer and longer, then we need to know those negative effects, how to counteract them. You know, we can't just let our muscles atrophy and our bone density decrease and then go land on Mars and be able to walk around, of course, especially in all the cumbersome equipment that we need. We've been able to develop some really remarkable exercise equipment. And now sometimes people are actually coming back with about the same or even in some cases more muscle mass than what they left with. We also do a lot of experiments that can help people and help us with medical research and physiological research down here on the ground. So for example, there are applications, of course, with the bone loss to things like osteoporosis, um, any sort of muscle degenerative type diseases. There are a lot of parallels with the stuff that we're doing in space that can also apply to human health and performance and medical issues on the ground. So there are a lot of interesting applications.